What's up guys? So we just kind of wanted to do a quick video and kind of address a question we get pretty common, most likely from, from guys that are new to thermal imaging or new to night hunting and they're trying to do their research and, and figure out what's what about the technology and just learn about it. One we get often, right? And if you're a thermal, you've been familiar with thermal for many years, This it's probably not a video you need, but if it's somebody that's new to it, we get asked a lot, can you use thermal to hunt during the day? And the answer is, Absolutely, and the reason is, is light means nothing to a thermal device, right? And that goes against all of our history, right? So there's daytime, nighttime, we can't see as well at night, you know, creatures are nocturnal, right? There's all types of reasons for that, and that's completely natural to ask the question if you're not familiar with it, but just keep in mind, right? So with a traditional glass daytime scope, you're looking through a glass lens, right? And then you have different qualities of lenses or lens coatings that determine what kind of light transmission a good scope will have versus an entry level scope, so on and so forth. With a thermal device, there is no glass, right? That is actually a germanium lens, right? So that's a different substance. It's not picking up the image of an animal or a person or, or whatever you may be hunting or whatever kind of wildlife you're trying to look at, it's not actually seeing that image, right? So what it's doing is this germanium lens is actually get through a thermal sensor, uses an algorithm that communicates a image to the display. So you see a field and you see foliage and tree lines and, and hogs or, or coyotes or whatever in that field but it's not actually seeing that. What it's doing is it's forming an image because these are so sensitive. It's basically the sensitivity and temperature differences between the ears on an animal versus the antlers versus the fur versus the hooves versus that that wheat field that he's standing in versus the, the tree line there a couple hundred yards behind him. It's basically just forming an image because there's subtle differences in temperature, fractions of degrees that form the outlines of those images. So it's not actually seeing that, it's just going off of temperature, right? So you can definitely use this during the day because it has no harm on the unit, like a traditional like tube night vision device um, that uses a phosphorus gas. So that's one of the big advantages with thermal in general is light doesn't mean anything. Now, bigger temperature differences can typically lead to you just seeing a little bit better resolution in the image. And what I mean by that is if you're in Texas and we get, anybody that lives in Texas knows in July and August, we get months straight of 100 degrees, 105, 110 degrees out with some humidity, right? If we get a rain here and there. In those conditions, you can still use thermal. It's still going to give you an image. That image isn't gonna be near as crisp and clear because the temperature differences in all the foliage and the animals is much smaller, right? So it's kind of kind of blend together a little bit and almost like look a little cloudier, but it'll work fine. Now, if I'm out there on a cool night and it's 50 degrees and I've got a nice breeze, animals obviously that are 98, 99, 100 degrees naturally, right? Kind of like humans, they're actually gonna, that, that difference in temperature is gonna make for a better crisp image because it's picking up those differences are bigger and it's picking them up easier, right? So so you can use thermal at any time, but those conditions can make a difference in what you see. And then if you're in, you know, like humidity, misty kind of rainy days, things like that, that's where your thermal sensitivity of the sensor matters. That's why not all 384s or 640s are created equal because then you've got sensitivity ratings within those that can determine how good your image is. But the short answer is, is light means nothing to a thermal because it's looking through germanium. Your glass, it does because it's actually going through a glass lens. So you can use um, thermal at any time, day or night, just make sure if you're ever trying to use thermal for an actual like tagged, like seasonal animal, you know, just consult your local kind of state regulations. And in some states you can use those to hunt game animals or, or, or tagged animals and some you can't. So just keep an eye on your on your state regulations and that'll determine what you can. But otherwise shooting predators or, or invasive species during the day at night to a thermal, really there's not much of a difference. So, um, but that's kind of all we wanted to clarify. So we'll, we'll kind of do more um, in depth uh, details and videos and stuff like that, showing you the differences and how an image might look in different um, temperatures and conditions. So uh, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and yeah, post videos if you've got them.